Let's okay. do this. All right, good. Uh, I need to unlock disasters. <laughs> um, so this is like SimCity, right? Absolutely. This is this game. This game is called SimCity Mars Colony. Let's do it. How did you know? What the disasters only unlock? An opposition after, okay. um, after eight months. So we gotta get there first. The All active right, player so names an appropriate scene, uh, scene type of his choice, and describes the setting, the characters, and the situation. Okay. It says the governor picks first. Yeah, so I'm going to pick a... Uh, I'm going to pick a personal scene for you. Okay. Uh, so, Remy. How old's Remy? I'm gonna say she's she's about twelve. Oh boy. Okay. Um, the issue is that Remy, um, I guess the first thing. Okay, so this will, this will be a scene where uh, Kelly. How do you know? How do you how do you know Remy? I was thinking actually that she might not even know Remy before she got on the planet. Okay. That's so it's kind of a scene where they meet or hmm. It's fine by me. Okay. Um But here's the okay, but here's the twist. Um that we're gonna see. Remy, you meet Remy at a mosque. Hmm. Um. Interesting. Remy has been, um, excelling in school, and she fell into a crowd of kids who, um, have very, I guess, fundamentalist parents, and, uh, they like to hang out at the mosque and study. And so she goes there after school to study. And that's where you find Remy. Okay. Alright, so... Do you just tell the entire scene, or how does this... Uh, work? yeah, until a conflict arises. And I don't think there's a conflict yet. Oh, I don't have any conflict. No. Uh, like, do I just say I have a conflict, then? If, I, if when, or for when I do? Mm-mm. Uh, the scene ends. Uh, no, I think I think it's, I just want to do like a small scene like that as we meeting her and realize I want to I want to play that so um, there's a chance of bad things happening in the future, right? Like I'm okay. I'm, I'm sowing some seeds here. Yeah, sweet, cool. Uh, the active player becomes the inactive player. Another round begins in a new scene at stage one. They don't okay. have to be necessarily in chronological order, says the game. Uh, no, I think I'll just dot off that scene. Uh, I'm going to make a progress scene. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to implement a plan to stabilize a threat to the colony. All okay. right. The rules are formalized and drive the game forward. And most are nine in the game. All right. So we're going to just build off of that previous scene uh, where we found Remy in the mosque. Mm -hmm. And we see Kelly, and she's visiting the mosques and other religious sites and cities like all over the colony um she's doing this to bring news that she's here and the plan that earth has for them uh she's also you know making friends and connections with local government leaders um which uh party is religious again with the yeah with the red party oh, i call it yeah the sharia party because I'm not, I'm not clever. Well, I think we're actually supposed to refer to them by their colors. Yeah, the, I think we are too. Yeah, so she's making contacts with the Red Party and meeting uh, rich people that are willing to fund her basically being alive. She's, she's looking for bribes. Um, and I think that doing this um, will try and help the communication problem because you know she's actually bringing news to people in um 
made part of the plan is setting up an internet between all the religious sites on the colony so that there's more cooperation between people of different religions. Okay. So, or, uh, uh, a community, yeah, to help foster um, a connection between the um, religious places. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah. So, it says there's rules for this somewhere. Okay. The players collaborate to describe how the scene unfolds. Mm-hmm. Generally, I narrate for Kelly, and you narrate for all other characters. Players may narrate in the first or third person. I was doing third person. The conflict arises. The players are reached an agreement. Okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, we will take turns, or we can collaborate. Um, what would you add to this scene? Uh, it doesn't all go to plan. Okay. Um... So, I think a, a, a crucial step to to establishing this network is a um, relay, a relay network, right? Like towers. Okay. Which means you have to go out and set these things up, um, so they you know boost the signal, and there's sabotage. Someone keeps knocking them down. Mm. Okay. Or it's first the first time it was the weather, and then the second time, maybe it wasn't the weather. Maybe maybe there's something something was deliberate. Okay, uh, I think Kelly would try and like reach out to the community and like get a like the community to help her like figure out what the problem is and. Hopefully, like, just improving her image with the community, which is already perfect. I need you, I need you to give me a little more when you say community. Because um, you, can, you can't just say, hi, community. Uh, hi, community. You know, like, what, who uh, in the community, right, in particular, maybe not the name, but, like, what faction, maybe, um, that kind of thing, right? I think that will help. Oh, I don't think it's the fashion. I think it's, like, she's, like, going out to, like, um the body of these different religious organizations, like the laity. So the Red Party. People. I don't think the Red Party, like the Red Party is a theocracy, but they're not the only religion on the planet. Sure. So I think definitely like they're the major like religious force on the planet. All right, yeah. It's not exclusive to the Red Party. Okay, but just, okay, but you're going to religious people for sympathy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like, I have this great image, and I'm using that can, image to try and get things done right now. Can I say that you get mixed results? Can I say that there's a lot of reservation in, in a lot of the groups? A lot of people I, think that this, um, that the communication will help solidify the Sharia party, and they're afraid of having it that way? That they think that, okay. um,. Their ability to persecute uh, the people they don't agree with, um, and, and basically kind of shut out ideas by them kind of taking over the the commu- like they're afraid of them taking over the communication mm. and shutting out ideas is, is the the concern. And part of the the plan is that you know that's why I'm bringing in all these other religious communities. I know, and, and I, they're and they're, and they're also going to be hubs in the internet. I guess not how the internet works. Yeah, you but they're they're. Yeah, they're Shut saying, they're like, this sounds all great and all, but what are you going to do to keep it open and keep it free? Because, like, what's okay. going to stop them, you know, what, what's going to, like, someone could step in and, and take control of it, and all of a sudden, there are people who don't have a voice. Right now, it's kind of this weird way, weird thing that, like, everybody doesn't have a voice, which is kind of democratic, and that you can only talk to the people around you, but, you know, they're afraid that if somebody can gain control of that, that, um, it's bad, Right. Like they oh, already yeah. know that the media that has, they yeah, already know, they know the media has a legitimate um, Sharia bias, right? Because of what's her name, and so and they're really, afraid that this this will just like, you know, send it over the top. So like, there's these there's these, these genuine fears. I think also, would, you know, it's afraid of the other. Right? Yeah, legislation that would resolve some of those okay. fears, like making it illegal to block out 
different okay. nodes. Yeah, that. that's well. Then I think that's maybe where or I see it. Even setting up an agency to protect the freedom yeah. of information. Yeah, maybe that's maybe that's where the scene ends. Maybe the you promise them that you're going to set this thing up to, to mm-hmm. handle this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that yeah, to enforce yeah. this uh, neutrality, communication yep. neutrality. Right, is what we're going after. Absolutely. Yeah, love it. Great. All right, so that's how we narrated it. Now there's no dice roll or anything. Uh, I don't know. Um, during a progress uh, scene, you were trying to generate health points. Okay, how? Did I do that? Fuck, I have no idea. I didn't read this far. I want health points. Give me the health points. Uh, if the savior can generate 20 health points in one marker, you made a significant progress. Okay. If you I generate 40, you stabilized yet. it. What? The savior crosses off the next highest listed number. The savior will roll dice. How? Why? I have no idea. Uh, I need. It doesn't say how you get points, but it doesn't say how you get them. Okay. Um. Let's read faster. I guess. Let's see here. Things don't have to be chronological. Okay. Savior crosses off the highest number listed on the character's worksheet timeline, starting with nine. Uh, the okay. Savior declares which colony health marker is trying to improve. Yeah, so we add dice. All right, so yeah, so I start by crossing out the nine. Yeah. Then we decide what the plan was. We know what the plan was. It's to create an internet. Um, then I roll both dice. So I roll two d six. Oh come on! All right, I got seven health markers. So I need more than that. All right, Part D. I choose roll again, but on any roll, including the initial roll, if one or both of the dice show one, then the entire plan is a failure, and the savior earns no health points for the scene. So oh, this entire one. plan was a failure. Wait, no, it's not because listen, there's a there's a something you can do here. So okay. you rolled a one, right? You rolled a one, which is bad. Uh, if a savior rolls a one, it's a disaster. Uh, Kelly's plan is a complete failure unless the savior chooses to create a deception. Mm. They generate no health points for the scene, but the players narrates uh, Kelly's failure and how the colony continues to collapse. Uh, when the savior rolls a failure, he must move one token from admiration to contempt. The only way to avoid the loss of this reputation is to create a deception. Mm. So you have the option of creating a deception at this point. Yeah, I think there are narration where she says that she's going to create laws is actually the deception, right? Because, like, that's one of the bad things we, we decided about governments is forming an agency to, uh, like, cover up these problems. And maybe what people come to realize is that the Red Party is able to control this agency that's supposed to be protecting. Well, hold on. I, f- I think there's there's some mechanics here that that need to get taken care of. Okay. So you rolled this one, right? Mm-hmm. So you're gonna fail. Um, your project's going to fail. You're not going to gain any health points. Right. Okay. Right. So that's where we're at right now. Unless you choose to deceive the public. So are you are you choosing that? Are you choosing that option? Yeah, let's do that. Because as long as the savior avoids humiliation and scandal, they may turn any failure into an apparent success through deception. So the savior adds the points he would have generated if he hadn't rolled a one. Um, 
uh, and you, you, you put that under lies. Okay. I have made lies about communication. Okay. To complete the deception, the savior moves one token from admiration to deception. Okay. The players then narrate how Kelly deceives the people into believing that her plan succeeded, even though it failed. Okay. Yeah, so I guess the Red Party uh, takes control of the, of the internet, and they use it to spread their own uh, propaganda. Okay. Um, after the savior creates the Kelly's first deception, the possibility for scandal arises. The more deception tokens the savior accumulates, the easier it is to cause a scandal. Um, with a single deception token, a scandal occurs when a savior rolls double ones. With deception tokens, a scandal occurs. Uh, with two deception tokens, a scandal occurs when a savior rolls one one or one two. This pattern continues all the way to six. Deception tokens when a scandal will occur with any of the following roles. 1-1, one, 1-2, one, 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 three, one, four, one, five, one, six. Uh, when a scandal occurs, as with any other failure, the savior moves one token from admiration to contempt. Kelly then loses all lie points from all colony health markers. Wow. In addition, right. Kelly is ashamed. Savior must move all his current deception tokens to contempt. Uh, the players narrate a scandal as an intense failure. You can't cover up your problems. Oh well. Okay. So, um, so, so where where we're at fictionally, um, so fictionally, you met, uh, you met the people, you met the religious leaders about the communication thing. Uh, they said they need towers, and people are afraid, um, to to go along with this plan, and you're going to enact some legislation, and that failed because why? Uh, because it. Legislation created an um, agency that the Red Party had control over. Okay, so this so there's an agency now made. Mm -hmm. There's an agency made, um, and it has the Yellow Party control over it. But why why does the Yellow Party have to do with this? Because they're not they're not independent. No, the Red Party. The Red Party has control. Oh, oh, okay. So the sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. When you said Red, I, I think I thought of the Communist Party. My bad. Yeah, so the theocracy does have power over the regulatory thing. But you're like, oh, don't worry, it's fine. Everything's mm -hmm. fine. We got this. Everything's fine. They, 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 they crossed their heart and said they're going to be neutral. It's We got all, this. All the, all the Red Party news organizations say it's fine. Yeah, okay. And all the other ones are on the, on the dark net, so we don't worry about them. Okay, cool. So that's, 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 the, that's one scene. Um, yeah, it's the first scene. Okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a scene with um, the mayor. Okay. Um, so I want to see a scene. Uh, I have to look, I look at the name of the different types of scenes again. Uh, an opposition scene. Mm-hmm. Um, the mayor needs help um, cleaning up a disab a, a damaged um a damaged health pod like a damaged um ha uh, what do you call it a habitat module sure right uh the, the recent sandstorm like the one that knocked out the original communication ones um it left damage done that's um while right now okay it's going to get worse right on on a on a habitat module for for some poor people that no one really cares about right mm. and the mayor doesn't can't get enough money to bribe the people to repair it. I see. Okay. I think Kelly. So I think that's that's my scene. Yeah, that's your scene. So it says once a opposition scene is described, then 
a, prog say, a progress scene usually yeah, comes into play. A progress scene begins. But I, I have to begin to narrate when Lucario's going to do to solve the problem. And Kelly is going to go to her contact, Remy, and she's going to tell Remy about the situation. And she's going to take Remy on a tour of these poor people and how their houses are literally crum crumbling to dust. And she's going to say, you know, you can help these people and you can get goodwill for your corporation. I mean, it's not going to be expensive for you. And you know, oh, the good yeah, marketing, the good marketing that's going to come from this you know, will be great. Yeah, yeah, like you get you get sweet uh, sweet points, right? Or whatever, like loyalty. Yeah, okay, absolutely. Yeah, and, and like, right. people will hear about the good works your company is doing all the way back on Earth. Yeah, and so yeah, that's her plan. Um, you can. This is a progress scene now, so you can tell me how this goes bad. Um. The progress scene is that people are going to cut corners on the repair, right? They mm -hmm. don't want to spend as much money. They want to do this for as li as little money as possible mm -hmm. while getting as much PR that they're improving it, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe their uh maybe their permanent fix is more of a stopgap. Maybe okay. they're using like ceramics that will get degraded or maybe be even maybe they're not up to storm uh quality. Okay. And so maybe the next storm will be even worse. Right, I think. Does I think Kelly sense? like sees this happening, and she says, "Oh wait, we probably should roll." Th no, no, not yet. Okay, um, so Kelly says that it's okay if you use cheap materials, but we should build a giant windbreak that will protect the city from the prevailing winds. And so she talks about. Like, she puts this proposal to them. It's like a quarter of a dome, mm -hmm. and it has the the corporate. It's like a levy. It's like it's a like mile. A, it's a, yeah, yeah. It's a wind. It's a wind levy. A wind it's levy. A mile yeah. high wind levy with Jesus. like their enormous logo all over it. Oh, cool! So people, it's like you know, this is like a billboard that yeah. everybody in the city is going to see. Yeah, and it's a shield. Yeah, yeah. And it's okay then. It's okay then if the housing is cheap. Yeah, because. There's going to be less winds over the entire city, yeah. and it'll be easier to get oh! to repair the houses when they break down. Not just that, but then people want to live behind the shield, so like <laughs> maybe like the rent raises, and so like they're going to fix it. Like oh, we're using market forces to fix it, right? Yeah, yeah. Like like this roundabout thing. Yeah. Okay. Let's watch me roll more once. Yeah, let's roll those dice now. <laughs> oh. oh, so how's it go wrong? Oh man, I think that God, dude, that sucks. That's really unlikely. No, that's just, that's really unlikely, man. To roll two is, ones in a row is. How I roll my dice, man. This is. Um. Uh, all right. So one in thirty-six, right? Possibility uh, of rolling. Uh, I'll roll two ones next time. Just wait. Yeah, two uh, ones consecutively using four dice. No, I'll just roll two ones on the next oh. twenty-six. Well, that's a that's a, that's a fucking scandal, dog. I'm gonna put this in contempt. Okay. Um, um, can you do that? I don't think you can. I can say it's a failure. Oh, so I actually never read how how actual failures work. One second. Yeah, it's a failure. If, if um, I can either choose to take the failure, narrate how it goes wrong. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You uh, can, you can, you can. I don't have to lie. It's only three points. It's not yeah. Worth it. um, um. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to save you my get failures for later. Yeah, so you get contempted. Yeah, I get contempt. Um, I think that they, uh, they, get upset. they refuse to build the wind barrier, and the housings get made, but then the houses break down within like a month, and the news is all covered up, right? Like, People on Earth don't hear the bad publicity, but everybody on Mars, like the the word is spreading that Kelly is is not perfect. Okay, yeah, that um, 
So she just doesn't have the political capital to get get this done. No, it, it was fuck. I get this it, game. This it, is it, fun. It was, they couldn't. They couldn't. Like it was a, okay. mile, a mile high billboard. Yeah, was not worth the investment. Okay. Yeah. They spent all the money on the billboard and nothing on the fixing it. Well, they didn't even build the billboard. Oh. Okay. They could just couldn't get it done. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, now it's kind of a progress scene. Um, no, that is your progress scene. Mm, but we take turns making scenes, right? Yeah, and your scene followed my scene. Doesn't You're, it just become that kind of scene? Uh, I thought they were distinct. Let me see. Uh, an opposition scene involves colony, uh, must involve colony politics or lead up to a direct threat against a colony stability. Um, as soon as the savior begins to narrate what Kelly is doing to solve the problem, the opposition scene ends and a progress scene begins. Uh, so it goes back to me. Okay. So, unless you do a personal scene, it's always going to be opposition scene and then how I resolve that opposition. Gotcha. Basically. And, okay. uh, unfortunately, um... The weather gets bad. Mm. It uh, there's a sandstorm moving in, and um, right, you know, right in the path is that really shitty habitat module. <laughs> so the stakes are pretty obvious. Um, everyone's gonna die in that habitat module. It's gonna just get fucking ripped out out of Mars. Yeah, it's, it's gonna get shotgun shelled mm. with with hail and rocks. Um, yeah. Uh, hmm. What are you going to do to fix this? I think uh, Kelly is going to talk to scientists, and the scientists will have discovered a network of lava tubes that run under the surface of Mars. Escort people and, out below the surface. Yeah, we're, we're going to start moving the poor into subterranean tunnels. Um, they have this plan about, you know, how we can make an entire community down there, uh, how we can make people have, like, an equivalent standard of, of life. And it'll be much cheaper because we can, like, centralize all the infrastructure instead of having separate infrastructure for each modules. And we won't have to worry about the dust. So to this is how... Basically just move, relocate people into the, into the t tunnels? Yep, we're going to put the poor... In the depths of the tunnels. And then yeah, what could go wrong out. putting the poor in, in, in dark tunnels? Nothing can go wrong. Yeah. Nothing can go wrong, okay. Eric. It's All perfect. Right. Let's, let's make some rolls, my friend. All right. And uh, this is this is obviously the dust problem. Oh, yeah. Roll, roll your 2d6. <laughs> That's ridiculous, man. I told you I'm not good at dice. That's 1 in 216, right? Most, most games, times six. Yeah. this is why mostly I just like role-playing games, and I don't like having dice tell me. All right, so you have a contempt? Yeah, I take another contempt. All right, um, how does this go wrong? I mean, people get put into the tunnels, and like, like, it's not like they have houses. It's like they have rows of bunk beds. It's like a homeless shelter. Okay, so they survive. The storm rages above on the surface, yeah. but they survive. But it's fucking really, really me mediocre living. And like, Re like, like. In fact, it's not even mediocre. It's like a hostel. Funding, the funding is there. Okay. To put up some walls, like, to temporarily resolve this problem. Like, sure, it's like a FEMA shelter. And then once the problem is resolved, they're like, oh, this is fine. We can leave it like this. And oh I, yeah! All my support, all my support of course. dries up. Of course, all my support dries up. Look. Oh shit! Okay. Um, now it goes back to me. I want to keep making scenes about bad shit because make more bad shit. Uh, well, okay. The bad shit is that the poor don't like fucking living in their FEMA shelters, and they demand to be heard and recognized. And okay. I think that um, they're starting to think that. 
Uh, the business people don't care about them. Mm. And I think they're going to start throwing their lot with the anarchists. Um, mm. Actually, no, it's even worse. The fucking poor, um, like, almost kind of split, like, ideologically. Uh, some of them are going to the Communist Party, while some of them are going to the Anarchist Party. Being like, well, because they're both fu- think that the status quo is horrible. Yeah, right? everyone thinks the status quo is horrible. They think the status quo is horrible. They think the theocracy is is, is part of the reason why um, that they're in bed with business, which they totally are. And um, they think that uh, a change of their masters needs to happen. And uh, mm. there's there's a basically a, a, a schism between how to go about it. And some people think that they should be, you know, liberty and everyone should choose how they, you know, rule without rule, right? Like, rule without rulers, anarchists, uh, versus a, uh, a communist um, party. Okay. Mm. So, there's, like, two factions that are getting, like, swelled up with people and, like, you know, uh, angry protest voice kind of stuff. Right. I guess Kelly would solve this by having like a human rights march um like she yeah, goes she, that shit goes people. real bad that goes real yeah. bad where, where's the human rights march take bad. place where does it take place i mean it hope it goes real bad like it turns violent um, is what i'm saying it's violent it's super violent probably like down the main central s- streets yeah it's super, oh, it's, it's real bad it's that was not a good idea it at all it's a, it's a massacre um, okay people are gonna die yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it was a peaceful march by the Communist Party for protesting, and you guys cracked down way hard on them. Maybe, mm. maybe they actually had some. Maybe the anarchists were like agent, like uh, like provocateurs, you know, like extremists of the groups, um, wanting to like you know bring the ruckus. Okay. Uh, but then it turns bad as you guys crack down on it real hard, and people get killed. Uh, All right, I think that it's, yeah, it's real bad. It's real bad. I think that Kelly was in the march as well. And she was also arrested, and rumors on Earth are that she's injured. And then Earth government is like, "What's wrong with you guys? Uh, we sent this person there to lead you, and you're throwing her in jail. There's something very wrong here." And I think that it makes Earth government pass laws against, like the using force on the citizens and uh, breaking, uh, hitting down on the corruption so that uh, people have more rights to protest and get what they want. Okay, so there's like like legislative reform. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, let's roll and see how good that is. Oh, oh here you go. So you got, so here you go. Well, make so so mark off. You know, you got six points, right? Okay. You got six points now, and then you got five, four more points. Do you want? You can keep rolling, right? Oh yeah, I'm totally gonna keep rolling. So right now I'm at five for corruption. So I need to get forty points for three of these. I have. Yeah, you do, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I you definitely six do. Six turns to get. 120 points. So I kind of roll some more. Yeah, you kind of do. All right. There you so go. That's 13. 13. I'll so I'll keep the numbers going. Turns. You keep rolling. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll keep it I'll keep it tallied. I need I need to go I need to get 40 points per turn. Okay. This is Well, so 20. keep in mind you're also getting the 6 from your your time. Right? So, 11, Sorry? 19... You have 29 points right now for corruption. Because you get, you gain the 6 from your uh, timeline. Oh, I do? Yeah. Every time you go, oh. you get them from the timeline. Oh, in that case, I should have 15 in communication. Yeah, right. you should. I didn't realize that. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. And now corruption's at 29. Alright, one more roll. Good. One more roll. One more roll. Oh, it's crushed it. Alright, um, 34. I'm gonna hold it there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. People were really excited about your fucking legislation, dog. 
Are you gonna go again? Yeah. Come on, go again. No, Push no, it. No. it Push it. The expected value is seven. If you if you roll, you should you should beat it. You don't understand my luck, Eric. You don't understand my luck. Come on, do it. Oh no. Do no, it for no, Mars. No. Do it for Mars. No. I could solve. The people corruption. need you, Kelly. The people need you. Corruption. With one roll. God. Oh. But no, 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 Eric. I'm okay. Not gonna believe, All right. That's fine. I'm not going to believe. It's cool. You're not Mars Hero. It's fine. I mean, it's it's cool. It's whatever. Oh, you be your man. own person. You're just not the you're not the Messiah figure that we thought oh, you were. That's fine. I'm not. I'm not. Sorry, guys. This is why we have problems in real life. Because like good people, like just they don't want to roll those one. Love it. Awesome. Okay. Man. Uh, so mark off that six, by the way. Oh, yes, mark off that six. Alright. Uh, it goes back to, uh, to moi. Yeah. Um. I think the rich kid... Um, with the with the recent violence and everything like that, is like real upset. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe maybe one of his friends was injured, or something like that. Okay. And I think um, I think he, he's pressured and he donates a lot of his money to the church to the uh, uh, the to like basically the theocracy That's to smart. the um, to the Islamic people to like help his friend because he, he his, and his family got injured in the riots. Um. Like he's like it's coming from a good place, and uh, yeah, I think I think the money goes into uh, enforcing the communication thing. I think mm. I think it's like them them pushing their luck and and pushing other calls out, and and kind of using this um, emergency situation. You know, like like yeah, this happened. This was really bad, and we're gonna we're gonna. To like hold on, like we have to take over the airwaves temporarily to because this, this is an impetus and this is like really like religious or something. You know what I mean? Like some kind of like bullshit thing that that they they come up with uh, to to legal to legitimize taking over the okay. airwaves, right? They exactly the thing that they're not supposed to do. Um, so this is a communication problem. All right, and that's the red party doing it. Uh, yeah, it's totally the red party. Yep. Um, so. Yeah, I think this has a pretty simple. With, yeah, with with the network chief, um, you know, pulling some strings here to help this make sure this happens. So, before Kelly was organizing the people, and now she's going to organize the lobbyists. Uh, with the increased government regulation, it really starts cramping in on big business, and they're not able to keep their trade secrets. And the red, the red party is reading all their emails. Um, Ooh, there's, shit. Some, there's some scandals about how uh, the Red Party is feeding information to businesses back on Earth and is creating a competitive advantage. Holy uh, fuck. All the technologies on Mars, like all the research stations, like all those are like leaked. On yeah, the, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. WikiLeaks. Yeah, it's and, a fucking like Edward Snowden thing. Yeah. And Kelly's like, some, this some, is why. How, how ironic. Yeah. How ironic is, that somebody would whistleblow on, on the Sharia law. Oh my god, yeah. That's hilarious. I love this. Well, this is, this is, <laughs> Kelly is like, this is why we need freedom of speech. Not just for the people, but for freedom of enterprise and trade. And let's make these roles, Eric. Yeah, make these roles. Remember, so this is for communication, right? Yeah, it's for communication. Okay, and remember you get five for your timeline. All right, so I'm at 20, so I only need 20. All right, so 25, keep rolling. No, so wait, hold on. You got, um, so you just rolled a nine starting off? No, I rolled a five. Oh, that's right, you rolled a five. Okay, okay, you, the last two rolls. So uh, a 10, a seven, and a 17. So you're at 17, 17 plus 15 is 32. Two, 32, so... One more good roll. Oh my god, you got it. So, but part of these are lies, right? Um, yeah, so wait wait a second. This is um, 17 plus 8, right? 
Uh, help me out here. I'm I'm fucking. It's at exactly right 40. Now. So there's 25 health. Oh, okay. So yeah, 17 plus 8 is 25. Yeah. Yeah. So the total is 40. So, I mean, you solved I solved it. the communication problem, assuming I don't roll double ones, ever. So I'm gonna stop here. Cool. Because I'll have to get fifteen later if I grow double ones. Yeah. I think mathematically this is a a good place to stop. So normally this is also a good place to stop for a break, but are you prepared mm -hmm. to keep going? Okay, cool. Uh I, I wanna keep playing. I don't yeah, wanna fucking and uh I'm just gonna because if I if we go on a break, I'm just gonna get obsessed with trying to fix my goddamn internet that uh, I, I don't even want to deal with it and so we're just going to make a really long episode here. Okay, right. let's that's, do it. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Alright, so you get to tell me let's what goes wrong um, I uh, guess you could st keep attacking communication but no. I would try and ignore it. No, because I know, no, I know exactly what's going on. Okay. Um... Boy, um, that sand damage from that storm was worse than we thought. Mm. Um, it's actually uh, it's corrosive. It picked up uh rare elements or something from like you know and, and just threw that shit at at our at our stuff, and it's rusting the um whatever we use outside. Like it's eating the the um. Okay. The coding. That's a problem. I don't know. Some kind of like weird, not organic matter, but you know, some kind of chemical reaction that is just, it's, we didn't know that was in the surface or like the storm picked it up out of like the mountains or something. Yeah. Right, you know what I mean? And, and it's, like, it's, like, it's like some kind of like weird like fluorine rock or whatever and like the fluorine like eats the, uh, it's like a volcanic the plastic. eruption. And it, it brought all the sulfur and stuff. Which is oh, like, shit, yeah, yeah, I love that there idea. Was, there was, the volcano was, like, near a flooring mine, and maybe... Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Mine. Whatever whatever the science is, whatever. Uh, and, like, you know what I'm talking about, but yeah. The yeah. world are, like, going on about how terrible this is. Yeah, they're like, oh, man, we were, we didn't prepare for this, blah, 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 blah. And now you have to maybe, fix it. Maybe it was even Mons Olympus that erupted. Yeah. So it's like the entire planet of Mars is covered this caustic suit. Oh, shit. And, and people are worried, like, can life on Mars continue? Um, like, everyone's livelihood is threatened. And it's a terrible situation. Like, at this What's point, Kelly going to do? There are millions of people on Mars, so we can't evacuate You, you need Mars. to go negotiate with the, with the volcano. Um, so, she doesn't negotiate with the volcano. Uh, it turns out that the Yellow Party, the Communist Party, has been doing uh, illegal research into nanotechnology. Um, and they have this technology, this regenerative fiber that uh, you could use to like coat the outside of a building. And even though the, the cost of chemicals in the atmosphere would erode away conventional material, the nanofiber will keep restructuring the material. And Kelly goes into this like dark, you know, backroom deal where they talk about legalizing nanotechnology and nanite research. In exchange, um, they have to agree to license this technology to other com companies so that there's time there's time to rebuild all the all the Martian biohabitats that are in danger, and they come to an agreement. But it's I'll let you tell me what's what's the problem with this agreement, agreement Eric? Uh it's labor, man. Uh, you know they can't agree on a price. Mm -hmm. um, the issue is that the technicians want more money, and people are like, no. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, the issue is labor. It's getting... It's um. I guess, well, well, they're using nanomachines, though. So maybe it's the people who are running the nanomachines. Well, I like the labor 
because like you still have to go there and like spray on the animal machines, right? Oh but yeah, the, damn. The thing is, yeah, is that's it's good. Not, it's not skilled labor. No, it's not. But that's why um, they want to like you know not they want to pay bottom like you know pennies on it, and the people so, are like how no. In order to you get care the about labor us. we need, we have to abolish unions. Oh, they don't like so, that at all. No one likes that, but folks are gonna protest. I mean, Mars again. is is bad. So let's cool. roll these dice. Yeah. A ten. So a fourteen. Yep. So you're sitting at fourteen. I'll I'll, I'll mark up the the numbers. Sure. Here. I'm gonna roll again. Eighteen. Um, I should be at 28, but I rolled two tons. Oh, yeah, you did. I'm going to make one more roll. All right, 36. Come on, man, you got to. You got to do it. Do it. I have three turns left. I'm going to stop here. Okay. All right. I'm going to resolve all of Mars' problems. It's looking good. It's looking good. The Come on, one Kelly. Start. Come on, Kelly. Make Mars great again. Nope, nope. We're, we're going to hold our bets where they are. And right. uh, leave it up to you. Like, Let's see those riots. Cause no, that shit works, man. I'm um, ready for the riots. No, they... Uh... Boy, how do you break it? Um, I mean, what if they actually pay the people? And they're like, or like, you know, they've, they've reached a negotiation, right? Where it's like not as much as they wanted, but um, it's it's more, you know, it, it's more than what they would have gotten if they rioted. Uh, it takes a little bit longer, but it works, and everything works out. And people, what's more important... What's more important is that this reinstates faith in the status quo, and that this mm. this this really deals a blow to sort of the people who are like the communist party and the anarchists who want to see the uh, the people with the money and the capital gone, right? Like like if anything, it's more of a moral victory uh, on that regard, which is what so which which makes it extremely successful, right? So not only do you, do you achieve the the nano dusting um, to to scrub the sulfur stuff off, but you also show that um, the current um, rulers and stuff like that are are capable and good, right? Like that's like the real fucking like you know like punch in the gut. That, Eric, the, right? Only the most cynical, disgusted, depressed part of me finds that a bad thing. Yeah, um, is is that actually a um, a conflict? No, it's not. A, it's not a conflict. Uh, no, no. I thought I I'm, I I thought I was just describing what happens. Oh yeah, I was like, how is this an opposition? No, it's not. It's not an oppositional thing. No, it's, this seems great. So I think yes, uh, Mars, Mars rises. Yeah, one Mars, the one Mars friend. Um, okay. okay. Uh, so it's my, it's my turn, though, for a scene, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, shit. I'm running out of things to come uh, up with. Oh, you can look at the cards for inspiration? Yeah. Uh, we're supposed to be flipping them, so... Eh, uh, whatever. You uh, decide it doesn't, it on, doesn't matter. So. It doesn't change anything. I mean, no. being able to pick and choose things at the right time is fine. Oh, yeah. My opinion. Um, um you don't have to do an opposition scene. I know. But I really like them. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sometimes, I mean, otherwise, I just pick up. I end up picking scenes with Remy. Um, so I'm thinking. Does Remy have like an evil twin? No, Remy. I told you. Like, I was going with the Remy. Remy's descent to uh, radicalization was like my my story arc at the start, but that didn't really work out because you guys fucking solved those problems. Um, so what I'm thinking is is going to be another business issue. Okay. Um, maybe she has radical oh, ideas about business. Oh, damn. Damn. Earth Coalition tells you they ran out of money. Earth is out of money? To send you, to send to Mars. They have no more money. Like a fucking sub, 
subprime fucking colony crisis happens. Uh, economic uh, crash. Mm. Earth is out of money. So they're like, uh, all our money's frozen. We can't help you, dog. All right. Yeah, like um, some kind of like you know sub subprime, you know whatever the fucking people in Wall Street are doing yeah. in in twenty one hundred. Uh, those greedy bastards mess something up again, which I don't think is too far fetched. So that will okay. whatever it is, I don't really care. But you know, well, it, it plummets the it, you know it crashes the economy. And uh, what Kelly does. That thing happens. Kelly says we've relied on Earth too long. Uh, she leads to the people like we should stop sending Earth any money, and it creates a terrible situation on earth it's like the financial they're already in a terrible crumble. situation like as the financial institutions crumble and then like all the infrastructure crumbles like we start to see like widespread famine on earth and like the technological level on earth starts to decrease to where they're no longer able to launch space missions yeah, like, exactly. Just, like, exactly. Gosh, They're incapable of helping Earth. Mars anymore. Is is what I'm getting at. But, but Mars, uh, which would be going to grow from uh, like realizing they had to cut off Earth. Yeah, and and Kelly well, leads to people and saying like, Mars will be the new center of humanity. Yeah, and, well, and that might so. be true, but the recession means that everybody wants some of this, right? So corruption's an issue. Yep. Um, so. Yeah, but there's so much money going around that we can just bribe everybody. Um, yeah, but we... should you be bri bribing people? That's probably not a good idea, right? That's um... what we're trying to solve. I mean... How are you going to solve the bribery problems? Is is it a problem? Yeah, it is. It's a fucking health marker. Okay. Um... People, people are taking bribes. People are taking bribes. People are taking bribes now more than ever. In fact, the News Network Corp send out, like, that's like the nightly news special, right? Like, bribes are worse before Kelly even got here, right? <laughs> like yeah. something, you know, something something of that effect. Uh, whatever. Mm. I think that Kelly, like, sees, like, all these bribes, and she's like, at the beginning, she's like, "This is this is good. I'm getting bribed too," and we see Kelly move into a new house. Um, but like her support starts to erode, and this is what makes any politician act is when their supporters stop supporting them, and she has to go back to her base. Like now that she's lost the support of the Earth Council. She yeah. needs the support of the people. Oh yeah, she does. And God, she... I, I fucking love Mars Colony. By the way, this is fun. It's great. It's a I'm fun really... game. And so she goes to her, you know, her old pal Remy. And she's like, Remy, we have a, a serious problem, sure. and we need we need somebody to step up and take the lead and be a moral example. And I think, I think it's been a few years. Yeah. So maybe Remy's like seventeen. Remy, now. Yeah, Remy. Remy's an adult. And like it's, it's it's rough, like telling this like young adult, like to be the poster know, child of success. That that new fancy super teleporting SUV. Maybe you can give that up for moral reasons, like morality. But I think that because of, like, Kelly being so involved in, like, religious activities and Kelly has always been able to, like, get Remy, like, in, invested in the community, that I think that's going to work. So Remy's going to solve the corruption problem. Is the, is Remy's going to do. lead by example. Remy's the vector, yeah, to, to solve yeah. the problem. Okay, and totally. And then that vector will spread because people will... You know, support Remy too. Um, all right, so let's roll this. We're going after corruption. I need six. I'm at three, so I only need three. Oh, come on! I was one short. 
Oh, uh, what are you gonna do? No! It's so easy to lie. But lying is actually not helpful here, see? Lie That's the problem. It's so easy to lie. I mustn't lie, because that will result in disaster. Then you, you get no progress. I get no progress. Um, Remy... Uh, if you don't mind, I would like to narrate what it is. Go ahead. Remy doesn't have any money anymore. Oh, shit. Uh, Remy, w Remy has been giving away so much of his money and stuff that after the Earth takes a hit, he loses, like, a significant portion of his stuff. But you know what? This is the weirdest part. Or not the weirdest part. Uh, this is just a, a twist on it. He's completely fine with it. Because he's, like, oh. he's religious now, right? He's like, I gave most of my money to the church. Like, it's, we're fine. Like, what do I care about material goods? Right? It's the oh. immortal soul that matters. Right? Like, he's, like, he's like made that shift in, in perspective. It's impressive. That's really impressive. Bad for me. Yeah, real bad for you. Oh, I mean, he was like, I, I, would, I wouldn't do that because instilling morale... Like, he was on board to do this. You know, and it's like, yeah, like, I'm, I'm all about being a moral, upstanding individual, and I love to be a role model with people. But he's like, oh, we need money. He's like, yeah, I don't have any money, though. Oh, this is, this is perfect for your uh, complaint earlier about how people ruin things that are good for political gain. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. I can see that. So, does Remy get turned to the dark side? Religulous. What, what happens? Uh, Remy, wait, Remy turns to the dark side? I mean, it's your scene. Um. Oh my god. Holy shit, let me retcon then. Because that sounds amazing. Remy turns you down. And I think Remy says that uh, it's... Remy... I think Remy uses this moment to kind of like seize a lot of power and, and oppose you uh, it, by being like, no, I'm not going to be your lackey. Like, I, I'm like, mm. I only have one lackey and that's Allah. Right? <laughs> like, I belong to one person, and that's Allah. Allah commands all of me. And mm -hmm. you are the re Like, you and your ilk are the reason for all of this. Right? Because you, you turned away from God. And everyone's like, Remy, Remy, Remy. You know what I mean? To you. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That's the problem. Okay. I think that... It's a hard choice, but Kelly has to support Remy as leader uh, of Mars, as emperor, <laughs> or empress of Mars. And so, this oh will resolve God. corruption because Remy, although seeks personal power, is about giving that power to the church. He is still a moral, upstanding individual, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know. So, Remy's, like, absolute rule of despotism will yeah. resolve bribery, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, like, so like he, he will accomplish the ends that you want him to do in the first place, but no, in no way was it the way that you expected it, and like he's not going to yeah. listen to you. Right? Yep. Alright, let's roll these dice. No pressure, right? No pressure. Nice! Yes. You got it. Uh, so 43. Right. 43 that resolves for corruption. corruption, or Remy for uh, Galactic Empress. Please. Yeah. Oh, so you have to. De so you defeat Remy. Oh, I defeat Remy, um, but also like Remy is now the leader. Like, I I defeated Remy through herself. No, I'm not sure. Can you explain what you mean by how you defeat her by yourself? Through herself. Like. Remy's, Remy's too good of a person to, like, really do this? No, Remy actually gains power and destroys all the corruption on the planet. Oh! So what happens to you? What are you now in this scenario? Um, hmm. So, like, did you just, just, did you just like, allow extremists to take over because they purged corruption? Exactly. Oh, so, like, Remy's, like, your right-hand man kind of thing? 
I think at this point I'm now Remy's well, left hand. Woman. Yeah, okay. But like you still have the yeah. officiality or whatever for like the purposes of the game. But so yeah, like so Remy problem? has taken yeah. over. And like Remy's has now appointed you as sort of like an entrusted advisor. Yeah. Okay. Oh man was... Damn this game. Kelly has no legitimacy. So good. Good. All Kelly's, Kelly's legitimacy came from Earth. Yeah. She, when we abandoned Earth, we had to have a new source of legitimacy. Oh, shit. And we created Remy, um, the space empress. So our... we have one turn left. And you get to uh, set up the obstruction. Well, I guess it's going to be an issue from the dust that's still left over. Yeah. Um, fuck. What do we do? What does I the mean, Islamic Caliphate of Mars do? Um, well, I mean, you get to oh talk this your scene. It's, it's your oh, scene. yeah, it's my scene, I guess, isn't it? I mean, uh, what what does they do to make the dust problem worse? How does the dust problem get worse? I mean, the dust problem uh, does get worse. Uh, the dust mm -hmm. problem... Um, well, the dust problem eats through all of the communication. No, I guess I can't break down that. So... Um, I don't know. I need help with the dust problem. I need help with something um, that's good. You could go with the... Uh, Destroys the oxygen generators? Maybe the dust uh, cloud makes it impossible to go to space. Oh, yeah. Well, like... But yeah, the, remember the volcanic shit? Mm -hmm. um, we can't get off Mars. We're stuck on Mars. Because, yeah, like, all, we, we can't get off. All the acid, like... It, yeah. It destroys the rockets when they're trying to launch. Um, yeah. The rotation is... It's like the, the Mars it's just not good. It, it's it's like an acidic pyroclasm of yeah. just shit, and it's just not it, good. It's not good to live on the surface like of a Mars. It's super anymore. rotation, yeah, and like it's creating like terrible oh water effects. Like, like the designs we made could handle the the caustic atmosphere, but it wasn't designed to withstand you know tornadoes and super hurricanes and um, maybe even. Super hurricanes that suck the atmosphere off of Mars completely. Oh my god. Um, so these are terrible things that we have to resolve. Um, so how do I solve the dust problem? Jeez. I think what we have to do is we have to build a space elevator. Uh, the space elevator will allow travel off of Mars and allow Mars to continue expanding. But if the engineering for the space elevator is wrong, it could be disastrous. Okay. Like, so this, yeah, but this might solve the dust problem. So yeah, we're we're going to build a space elevator. Uh, we we construct this monolithic city to be like the center of of Martian culture and the center of Martian expansion in the space. And then we communicate like sporadically uh, with our uh, resources in space. Uh, we we take one of the space elevators from Earth, and we drag it over to Mars, and then we just lower it down and hope everything works out. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. So I only need to roll. Not a one. You okay. are one d six. Oh, you did it! I did it! I resolved all Mars. Forty one. Oh my God! You did it. You, this it. fucking space elevator saves it. Saves, saves Mars. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh my god. Dude. That was pretty good. Oh, so I mean the epilogue is that like we, we, we scrub the atmosphere of the of the um you know the the bad stuff. Mm hmm Uh what else? Or or does it become like the Klingon homeworld, which is like a toxic waste dump? No, like no, because like no, I think I think we clean it up, man. I think I think it, I think Mars becomes great. I think I think Mars becomes a, a legit power. I mean, Earth is kind of crippled, 
um, from from this crash, the economic crash, mm-hmm. and uh, I think we see the rise of of Mars, the the Caliphate of Mars, and yeah. uh, what happens to Kelly? I mean, Kelly just lives her days as an advisor to Remy, the the fucking well, chosen prophet. Kelly is like, like not like. 